Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will be use we will use conditional logic with if statements. If statements are incredibly important, so this is going to be a great lesson. If statements are used to make decisions in code, the keyword if tells JavaScript to execute the code in the curly braces under certain conditions defined in the parenthesis. These conditions are known as Boolean conditions and may only be true or false. When the condition evaluates the true, the program executes the statement inside the curly brackets. Brackets. When the Boolean condition evaluates the false, the statement inside the curly braces is not executed. Okay, so the Sueto code. If something like this happens, then we do this. Example, function test, uh, my condition. If my condition is true, then we return it was true. Otherwise, we return it was false. So if we run the test, if we say test, which comes to here, this is the test, is the function that runs here. And then we enter uh, the Boolean true, which is my condition. If we come down here, if true is true, then it will return it was true. And this trust test of true will return true and false will return false because false does the same thing. But it says if false, then it doesn't do that. So it goes to return here. The reason that you don't say if this is true, the reason in tr it, the uh, function stops here is because of the return value. Otherwise, it would just say it was true and then it would say it was false. But because we have a return value here, we uh, maintain this. Uh, so what we want to do is create an if statement inside a of uh, inside the function to return yes that was true in the parameter was that true is true and return no that was false otherwise no that was false otherwise hmm okay cool so uh, only change the code below this line basically we're going to copy that um, true or false are true or false yes it's true create an if statement inside the function so. The first step we want to say is if, so now we have a function, um, let's say if the parameter, okay, so what's the parameter in this function here? The parameter is was that true? If was that true, we want to return, yes, that was true. We could do this multiple ways. Um, we could also say, but let's do it the most simple way. We can return. So if the parameter, was that true, uh, is true, we want to say, no, that was false. Cool. So this should be the uh, simple uh, right answer. Um, another thing that you can do with the if statements is you can say else. And I think this actually makes a little bit more sense for this context because um, in the examples we're feeding in only whether true or false, true, true or false, it should return that was true. So um, this is just sort of a kind of, yeah, this is the, the idea behind this. So if statements are incredibly useful, um, Let's jump over to the terminal for a second. Let's say, <clears throat> let's start a function. Um, we can say this one's a string. And then we start a function like this. So we say, oh, no, no, no. We could call this, is this a string? And then we pass in a value. Uh, what we can do now is we could say if the value, if the type of value is equal to string, return what? Yes, this is a string. else return no this is not a string okay so now in this um, 
console, we've basically declared a function. So if I were to say type of is this a string, this is going to return function, right? Because I've saved this here. If we were to do, and so now what we can do is we can pass things in. We could say, is this a string? And then pass in a string, a string, right? Yes, this is a string, so it's returning this value. Is this a string? And then instead of passing a string in there, we'll just pass the number four. No, this is not a string. So this is another way that we're doing just conditional values. Um, I hope that helps. At the end of the day, if statements are super important for uh, computer programming, uh, there's a lot of implicit return stuff in it, but um, this is essentially the way that you solve this problem. And so if I run the test, it passes. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.